Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to take another look at math operators and some other things that you can do with it and stuff that I left out in the last tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's our main sub right here inside of our module. And we're just going to start off by creating a variable. So we'll use the dim keyword to say that we're going to create a variable. We'll give it a name, which is my double. Then we'll use the add as keyword, which tells the compiler that we're about to tell it what kind of data we want to use. And we'll just do double and we'll set it equal to 11. Now if we do console dot right line my double what this is going to do is just, just going to print out the value 11. Now if we come down here and change the value of my double we'll do my double equals my double plus 23. Then we'll do console dot right line my double. Now if we run this we're gonna get the values 11 and 34. But if we just take this line out right here, here let me copy this. Okay so if we take this line out right here and add the plus 23 into the arguments of console.writeline, what this is going to do is it's going to print out 11 and 34, but the value of my double isn't actually changed. So if we write out console.writeline, my double again, we're going to get the values 11, 34, and 11 because we never change the variable. You can see it right there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to cover a bit of shorthand math. So here let's type my double equals my double plus 23, which is what we just did. Now there's an easier way to do this. Whenever you want to add a value to a variable that you have, all you have to do is do this. Let's comment this out. We'll do my double plus equals 23. So this tells the compiler that we want to take the variable my double and we want to add the value 23 to it. And now if we just print that out again, we're going to get the value 11 and 34. Now let's go ahead and make a short little simple program here that's going to take our variable and it's going to track it throughout the changes that we made. So let's take this line out right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a string inside the arguments of console.writeline. So we'll type initial value 11 and then we'll type new value and now to combine these two together we're just going to use the and sign so what this does is it takes the string that we've made and then it adds my double to it and what this is going to do is on the console what we're going to see is this these letters right here it's going to say initial value 11 new value 11 but since we don't know what the new value is going to be, we're just going to use the and sign and print out my double, which changes uh, whenever we change it throughout the program, and we don't have to know specific specifically what it's equal to. So we'll just copy this string right here. And we'll do one more action. Let's go ahead and do my double times equals 126. Now whenever you do this right here, you can use it with any other math operator. You can divide, you can subtract, you can multiply, uh, you can add, whatever you want. So let's do console.writeline and then we'll take this right here, we'll add it to the argument and then we'll print out my double with it. So now if we run this we're going to get initial value 11 which is the initial value of my double the new value is 11 because we hadn't changed it yet in the code and then in the line down below that it's going to say initial value 11 new value 34 and then below that again it's going to say initial value 11 new value 4284 so that's just a simple program that will track a variable when we make changes to it 
And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them. Um, I will be monitoring these videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.